Oh, hey, sup, it's Ralph Bob. Oh, hey, sup, guys. How's it going? We got some news on Shadowlands, baby. Uh, so we're going to be sh looking at some soul binds. Um, soul binds are a mechanic in Shadowlands alongside the legendary crafting as well as the covenant abilities that are that you can choose. Um, so from what I've seen, there's going to be a lot of information. So bear with me here. There's going to be a lot to go over. And this is kind of my first time looking at it. I mean, I, I read through this real quick to get a quick glimpse. Um, so far, none of this stuff is even in the alpha stage uh, in the alpha build of the game yet. So this is kind of all of our information on the soul binds. Um, there are 12 soul bind trees. So there's going to be three trees. Uh, of soul binds that you can choose from one right here you can see right here the phase um the night phase so we got one two three trees that we're going to be able to choose from um and level up individually to start getting these benefits over time now there's empty slots right here where we're going to put gems or uh what their blizzard are calling conduits and each of these conduits have different types. So there are uh, conduits are slotted into marked slots, currently separated into three types, thoroughput, survival, and utility. So each class's conduits are going to be specific to them. I believe that the attributes here that you get in these trees are the same for everyone, um, but the conduits are class specific. So you're going to be level, you're going to choose your soul bind and Blizzard said you can uh, switch between these easily. It says right here, allowing to, uh, Blizzard said that you will be able to swap soul binds easily. So you're going to choose your covenant and then you're going to choose your soul bind and figure out which one you want to level up. And now there's a couple soul bind calculators here showing off. So right now for the Kyrian, we're looking at Forge Light Prime. I don't, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Okay, I'll try. Mechanicos. Okay, these are just the people that are going to give you the soul binds. That's what these names, these names are so fucking crazy because these NPC names are bonkers. So we have some abilities here um, that we can choose and each one of these trees are different. So like this one right here gives you, uh, increases your versatility by 1% for 10 seconds. Um, using another spell or ability increases this amount by 1% when it is not a repeat of the previous spell or ability, stacking up to five times. There you go. And then these two are conduits. And then there's some more here going down and it keeps going down and down. And then it goes to the final ability. Uh, activate, activating your Kyrian class ability increases your master by 5% for 10 seconds and occasionally expels sorrowful memories. Walking through sorrowful memories extends this effect by three seconds. Pretty cool, might be good for specific classes that enjoy mastery, but it looks like this one's versatility. So there's just a lot of effects that are going on with all of this stuff. Um, so these calculators are brand new. We haven't seen these yet. Uh, so let's go over an easier, as, look, as much as it's cool to look at the actual tree and go over all the tool tips. Um, I think it would be cool. It's better to read them this way. Uh, upon death, your armor continues to fight, allowing you to fight for an additional 10 seconds. During this time, your damage and healing done is reduced by 50% and you cannot receive healing. That is pretty kind of, that's kind of cool. I didn't even read this one until now. Uh, the Necrolord Bonesmith of uh, Forge Bone Reveries. You continue to fight after, your armor continues to fight after death. That's pretty freaking dope, dude. Um... I like that. That's really cool. Uh, this one right here, I read this, is a Necrolord um, Soulbind. After taking falling damage, the health loss becomes a shield lasting 15 seconds. It's not bad. It's, I mean, I don't know if that's ever going to come in handy. Um, I mean, maybe there's fights that launch you into the air and you take fall damage and you just need that extra shield so you can live. Uh, I don't know if it's even going to be useful in PvP. I don't know. I think that's just kind of a silly one, but <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, Fleshcraft, Fleshcraft, 
renders you immune to crowd control. That's going to be huge for PvP. Um, and maybe even certain uh, mechanics of raid fights or dun dungeon fights. 10% uh, of your overhealing received or done remains as a shield on the target up to 15% of the caster's health lasting for 5 seconds. These are all really, really cool abilities and there's going to be a lot of experimenting. There's so many abilities. Are there so many extra things, passives that they have added? And this is just, these are some highlights that they, they showed off. I mean, there's a whole list that you can go and look at <laughs> that shows so many different abilities. It's, it's pretty bonkers. So this is going to be, I would assume the soul binds is, is going to be something that are like the Azerite power that you're collecting right now. It's like going to be like artifact power. I think from what I heard is that you're going to level these up from doing all sorts of uh, things in Shadowlands. So it's basically going to be like Azerite power. This is going to be a passive leveling up um, over time until you get to the very end. And then you can choose a different soul bind and level that up. And then you can keep going and going and going until you level up all 12 soul binds to the maximum effect. And then you're going to start working on getting your conduits that uh, fit what you like. Um, it fit your play style. So there are some conduit examples for, I think this is for druids, like cyclone leaves the target reeling, reducing their movement speed by 50% for six seconds. These are very situational and up to how you want to play, especially like if you want PVP conduits or PVE conduits, um, certain fights, probably want, you want certain, uh, gems or conduits in your soul binds. Um, let's see, like this one, <clears throat> the, the cooldowns reduce Typhoon, Maim, inca Incapacitating Roar, and Ursul's Vortex by 10%. These are all very, just, these are all passives, but they're class specific. So I believe from what, I, this is a speculation, I'm pretty sure that uh, jewel crafters are going to be able to craft these, and these are going to be important. So jewel crafting might be a really good profession in shadowlands to go and uh get because i mean these look exactly like the gems right they look exactly like gems so i think jewel crafting might play a big role in how the conduit system works and you might want to think about doing some sort of jewel crafting to make some money with uh, some of the better conduits that people are going to want um or just get the all get some of your alts onto jewel crafting I think that's it for now. I mean, I just, I could look at these. There's so many different passives. I, I think I'll spend the next couple minutes reading some of these. If you guys don't mind, let's see, let's read some more of these pod tender. When you would take damage that would kill you instead of rejuvenate within a pod. Oh, if you take damage that would kill you instead, rejuvenate within a pod, regaining 30% of HP over 10 seconds. If the pod takes more than 10,000 damage during this time, you die. The effect may may only occur every once every 30 minutes. Wow. <laughs> These there's a lot of cheat death mechanics. I really like this. It's kind of cool. Uh, hold the line. After five seconds standing still, you take 10% less physical damage until you move. Nia's tools, a poison. Your interrupts apply Nia's paralytic poison to your target. Your interrupts. Apply Nia's Paralytic Poison to the target, dealing a percentage of spell power and attack power and nature damage over 30 seconds. Targets with the Paralytic Poison take an additional 100% and 100% or sorry, take an additional 100% spell power and 100% attack power nature damage if interrupted once more. Wow. So your interrupts are going to be doing damage <laughs> that's cool uh successfully interrupting an enemy or dispelling an ally increases your critical strike chance by 10 percent for 10 seconds that's fucking that's pretty sick these are all really really cool um the benefits of well-fed flask and weapon enchant effects are increased by 15 percent not bad not a bad passive 
It's nothing super interesting, but weapon enchant effects. Hmm. Does that mean like poisons? Our oil's coming back. Like what kind of weapon enchant? Like does that just mean like the versatile weapon? Like just standard weapon enchants? I don't know. Uh, while in combat, you gain a stack of Thrill Seeker every two seconds or four stacks on killing an enemy. Add 40 stacks Thrill Seeker. Sorry. At 40 stacks, Thrill Seeker is consumed to grant you euphoria, speeding up everything you do by 20% for 10 seconds. Thrill Seeker decays rapidly while you're not in combat. What? Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Refined palette. The effects of combat potions last 10, 10 to 100% longer. Leisurely gate. Door of shadows is insta-cast, but its cooldown is increased by 30 seconds. Oh, that's the Venthyr ability. Insta-cast teleport? What? Okay. All right, sure. A matter of perspective, when you would suffer lethal damage instead gain peculiar instead gain peculiar perspective, preventing all damage dealt to you and healing you for 50% of the amount prevented for four seconds. You may only benefit from this effect once every eight minutes. Wow, these are some really cool effects. And I think that's all I really have to say about this. Um, I think this is really cool. I like this. It's a separate thing that is just, it's just kind of passive and you kind of just choose what you want. I think that it's very similar to how artifact uh, power worked when the artifact system was introduced in Legion. It's very similar to, it's a better version uh, of the Heart of Azeroth because the Heart of Azeroth was just, you didn't get to, choose and swap your conduits or anything you just kind of had it's this is an extended version of the essence system a little bit in a in a way it's i don't know i, I think this is a good idea um and you get to swap between these uh as often as you want so you can kind of figure out which one is best for you and which one is best for the situation and this is very customizable this is really that's really good giving the player a choice on how they want to play their character um and i think that's it for now uh if you guys have any questions or any comments please leave them down in the comment section uh leave a like and subscribe we're trying to hit 100 subscribers we're about 25 subscribers away and that would be really cool i'm just doing a lot of wow content and in preparation for shadowlands and i hope to see you guys soon i'm going to be streaming on twitch as well twitch.tv slash ralph bob and uh come join our discord and other than that, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.